The, the Force is the second in a, in a trilogy of films looking at the relationship between um, institutions and community in an American city. And Oakland is where I live, and it's, it's a city that really has a remarkable connection to national issues. So things that are happening locally um, in Oakland, whether it's access to health care or gentrification or criminal justice issues are also things that we're talking about on, on the national level. So we thought it would be really interesting to, like The Wire did, um, kind of unpack the city in nonfiction feature documentary. What was it like filming in Oakland for these past two years? We set out to make a film about this police department more than two years ago, uh, before Ferguson happened and really this sort of conversation and the energy reached a fever pitch about the relationship between the police and the community. It took us about a year to get access to the department and then just as we were beginning to uh, film, the Ferguson verdict came down. And so there, were, there was uh, weeks of protests and um, it, it really kind of shifted the angle on which we were looking at the, the, um, the issue. So with over 250 hours of footage and the Oakland Police Department scandal popping up almost when you were done filming and done editing, what was the process like reintegrating that back into your film and changing the narrative? The sex mm -hmm. scandal? Um, well, you know, the, the difference with the third act um, compared to the first two acts of the film was mainly the amount of observational and verite footage that we had at our disposal to tell the story. Um, things were happening so rapidly and we didn't have access, necessarily access to everywhere um, that we had to reconstruct some of the story. A lot of press conferences and before the, the scandal hit, we had really mm -hmm. struggled to get to a cut that we felt contained all the complexity of the issue that we wanted on the screen. And um, we were actually feeling pretty good about the cut so that when the scandal hit, we didn't have a lot of time mm -hmm. to sort of figure out how to integrate that material. Um, but, you know, I've got a team of great collaborators and Linda Davis, my producer, and Lawrence LaRue, my editor. We all worked together to screen a number of cuts in a very short period of time, trying different things. And the first few things weren't working mm -hmm. um, till, till we got to the, the cut that, uh, you know, we, we took to Sundance. Being a Cal J School alumni, how have you seen the the city itself progress, as well as the journalistic take on the city. Oakland's had, you know, a history of, of problems and, and um, uh, economic challenges and healthcare access challenges, and education. The level of service um, that we want to provide? And, uh, no. you know, it's now a city the that is, is sort of bursting no. with um, right. innovation and, mm -hmm. and growth and gentrification. And uh, w along with all that growth comes all kinds of problems. And so and you, you saw some degree a, a, a reflection of that with the ghost ship fire which it would shed a light on on um, sort of this intersection of, of artists who can't afford to live in the city and they're sort of shacking up in, in these like these these um, almost abandoned warehouses you know so um, it, it's just a remarkable um, set of challenges that the, the mayor Libby Schaff mm -hmm. has to cope with and and um, you know the the policing issues sort of set smack dab in the middle of that and that's kind of what attracted us to it. So how do you see the city of Oakland progressing in the next couple of years also with having a police, fire, and mayor chiefs that are all women? The tragic thing about the film is that there was a remarkable amount of pro progress that did happen under under that chief yeah. and what, what happened was he was faced with a you know a choice and he was so close to the to reform you know, coming out from under the, the federal reform that when the scandal broke he could have you know attacked it more aggressively um, if he had done that maybe he would have been fired anyway so um, but the reality is that all that progress that was made all the in, you know the pro the body warm camera um, program the procedural justice um, program that they're doing there the transparency all that is sort of still in place, and so um, underpinning of the, the whole institution, the sort of potential for moral failure and how you know an individual's moral choice can affect the whole department, that is something that's going to need to be addressed because cops, they just go into the darkness, and, and I think the, the, the chances increase for poor choices to be made on an individual level, level that can affect the in institution. But with this new leadership in place and you know a new chief who's a woman, um, I think everybody you know, expects and anticipates, you know, forward progress from, from, from here forward. 
This film definitely hit close to a lot of Cal students, and I just want to thank you for creating such a well-rounded film with all these different perspectives on what's going on in our hometowns. Can we get a Go Bears on three? Oh, sure. We okay. One, two, three. Go, go Bears! Bears.